You have reached Red Seal's awesome toy collector review. I'm your man, Red Seal. And today I'll be reviewing Transformers Studio Series from the Transformers the Movie Perceptor. Transformers Studio Series from the Transformers The Movie Perceptor. But before I get to the actual review, I just want to go over some of the stunning details on this packaging. Up front here, you have typical display window showing you both the figure and all of the accessories inside. Then on the top of the box here, you have the Transformers The Movie logo. You have the Transformers The Movie logo again up here in the corner. Then over here, you have a beautiful illustration of Perceptor. Then on the side of the box here, you have a profile picture of Perceptor. Then on the other side of the box here, on the very top you have the 86, which represents the year the Transformers the movie came out. Then down here you have an awesome full body shot of Perceptor again. Then on the back of the box here, you have all the figure's features, such as Perceptor in his robot mode, Perceptor in his telescope mode, Perceptor in his tank mode, and Perceptor on his removable backdrop. Transformers Studio Series Deluxe Class Perceptor. Perceptor's Hasbro ID number is 86 11. His Takarotomi ID number is SS 75. He was released on April 15th, 2022, and Takarotomi released third version on April 30th, 2022. Perceptor sold at a suggested retail price of $22.99 and he's available at all major retailers. Perceptor was released along with other Studio Series Deluxe Class Wave 15 figures Brawn, Wheeljack, and Autobot Ratchet. He was also re-released with Wave 16 along with Ironhide, RC, and Wheeljack. Perceptor is a Transformer the Movie inspired figure that converts into his microscope mode in 20 steps. His accessories include his blaster, removable backdrop, and instructions. Perceptor stands 6 inches tall and he's meant for fans ages 8 and up. up next I'm going to go ahead and transform Perceptor from his robot mode all the way to his microscope mode. But the first thing you'll always want to do is remove all the weapons and accessories. So I'm going to take his blaster. I'll put it off to the side. The first thing they want you to do is take his head. They want you to rotate it all the way around so it's facing you back. Then go ahead and turn Perceptor around. It's got a little hole in his back. You want to flip his head into that hole and get a little snap. Like that. Next thing you want to do is take his shoulders right here and right here and untab them. When they're on a hinge, you want to bring them all the way down like that. Like that. The next thing you want to do is take the microscope right here. It's kind of on another hinge. You want, you want you to turn it sideways. Because there's this red piece that's inside his right shoulder. They want to bring everything up to the center. Then on his left shoulder, where you untab the shoulder, there's a tab on top of his shoulder. They want you to turn that tab into the hole that's on the blue part of the microscope. You just tab that right in like that kind of hold it into place. So now the microscope's right in the center. The next thing they want you to go and do, they want you to kind of turn the arm out like that and like that. Then they want you to rotate so the knobs are facing down. And you want to rotate the entire arm so the shoulders also showing the hollow point pointing up like that. I'll go and do that to the other side. You want to take this whole arm and you want to rotate it on the shoulder. You just don't want to rotate only the forearm. And there's a hinge right here. There's a blue part that's attaching the, the shoulder to the microscope. You want to bring that all the way down like that. I'll show you on the other side. You just take everything, and you bring it right in the perceptor's head, like that. Then the next step they want to do is take the fist. I want to flip them in. Yeah. I'm going to do that to this side too. Take that fist, just flip it right in like that. 
Then the next step they want you to go ahead and do, and this is a pretty simple step, they want you to take this whole blue piece, and there's a hole right here, and a tab right there on each side. Hole right there, tab right there. Then once you go ahead and bring the arm in, and just tab that right into place. Like that. You want to do that to the other side? Just tab that right into place like that. The next thing they want you to do, they want you to take this whole, um, the whole bottom piece, or his legs, and put them in more of a sitting position like that. Like that. So he's sitting like that. Then they want you to go ahead, take the toes, and pull the toes forward like that. Go ahead and do that to the other side. Just take the toes, point it forward like that. Then they want you to take the whole leg assembly, and bring it out, kind of where he's doing the splits. Put that to the other side. Kind of like that. And halfway on his thigh, there's kind of like a another little hinge. You just turn his leg forward like that. Turn his leg forward like that on the other side too. Then you go ahead, you take his chest piece right here, you flip it down. That's the tray for his microscope. Then the final step, you take this whole microscope piece, point it down. And now you have perceptor in this microscope mode. Next, I'll go ahead and transform Perceptor from his microscope mode into his tank mode. And in the original Generation 1 cartoon series in the movie, he does not transform into his tank mode. It's more of a nod to the original Generation 1 toy. Because the Generation 1 toy did transform into a robot, to a microscope, and to a tank. And I'll explain to you where the tank comes from later on in this review. But the first step of that transformation, they want you to go ahead and take Perceptor and tilt him back slightly like that. Then over here you have a hole. You got a peg right here. You want you to go ahead and swing that around so it pegs right into that hole right there. I'm going to do that to the other side. Take that leg and swing it all the way around. Pegs it in like that. It's a very simple transformation. And now you have Perceptor in his tank mode. Now that Perceptor in his microscope mode and on my display table, I want to go over some of his play features and accessories. According to the instructions, there's a way to store his weapon while he's in his microscope mode. You do that by taking his handle right here, which is a 5mm peg. Now on the side of Perceptor here is a 5mm hole. You go and plug that blaster right into that hole and that is how you store his weapon according to the instructions. But there are also more 5mm holes all over Perceptor's body. There's one right there, there's one right there, there's one right there, and there's one right there. So you have other options, it's more your preference. But I personally am not a big fan of storing weapons while they're in their alt mode. So I'm going to move Perceptor's blast and put it off to the side. Because so I want to talk about Perceptor's microscope mode. Perceptor's microscope mode is very stylized, which means it does not look like the typical microscope you're going to see in any science labs. It is based on the animated model from the Generation 1 cartoon series and Transformers the movie, which in turn based their animated model on the actual Generation 1 toy. The actual Generation 1 toy was ported over from Japan from a toy line created by Takara called Microman. Microman is a toy line where little ordinary objects that will be lying around a child's room like microscopes, toy guns, radios, were transformed into robots and they were manned by a little Microman. And there's a funny backstory behind all this. Because the Microman toy line and the Diclone toy line were merged together and ported over to the United States and they were redubbed Transformers. Well the Microman, back in the late 70s, I want to say late 70s, early 80s, were actually, Takara reached out to Hasbro, ported over G.I. Joe to Japan, retooled them and created Microman. So it's kind of a cool exchange there. N nice little back history behind how all this came about, how two of the largest, most iconic toy lines in history were created. But Perceptor, unfortunately this version of Perceptor is not like the Generation 1 toy because it is not tooled to function as an actual microscope. The actual Generation 1 Perceptor actually could function as a microscope. The knob in the front here would, would turn side to side and it would zoom in and out. There was a little mirror underneath the tray to reflect light so you could examine whatever is on that tray. There was actually magnification with the original Perceptor. 
Unfortunately, I don't have my Generation 1 Perceptor on hand to do a side-by-side -side comparison, but I do have my Titans class, which I'll put this off to the side. And they did incorporate a lot of that technology in this version of Perceptor. Because when you turn the knob here, the lens does go in and out, and does zoom in and out. And there is a degree of magnification in the, in the microscope too. There's the tray, but that's it with that. You know, they didn't really incorporate much. This is kind of like more of a cross between this version of Perceptor and the Generation 1 and the animated series. Because this Perceptor, when it came out, I thought it was a definitive Perceptor. And I was really stoked that they brought this version of Perceptor out because the one previous to this one was a huge disappointment. And on the Reveal the Shield toy line, they brought out Perceptor. Cool looking robot mode, but he transformed into a truck. And I think that was around the phase where Hasbro was like taking sound wave and perceptors and just making them into trucks for some odd reason. But I'm so glad they brought him back as a, a microscope with the Titans Return. And I'm definitely glad they brought him back as a microscope for this toy line because this is a great microscope. It's a little bit modeled after the animated series because in the animated series, they did narrow the telescope here a little bit. Because the toy, the actual Generation 1 toy, it was hawking and huge. And like I said, it functioned as a microscope too, so they had to do a lot of engineering. There's no engineering in this. There's, there's, there's lenses in there. Not lenses, but there's like, there's there's a clear uh, plastic, as you guys can see in there, but it does not magnify. It's not, not a functioning microscope. It's more of a collector's piece, because us collectors, we like to display our toys. We don't really play with them. The, the Generation 1 and Titans class was more meant for kids, so they did add a lot of that tooling in there, extra tooling, to kind of make it function as a microscope. But I do like this, this version of Perceptor. I'm going to go and rotate them around so you guys can see what it looks like from all angles. Beautifully done. Now that Perceptor in his robot mode and on my display table, I just want to go over some of his play features and accessories. And I failed to mention while I was talking about Perceptor in its microscope mode, the transformation for Perceptor is almost identical to the Generation 1 version of his toy. I mean, there's a few engineering changes, like there's a lot of flipping the fist and flipping the head back, you know, as opposed to pushing it down and pushing it in. But, I mean, other than that, other than some of the engineering changes that it did make to kind of update the technology and, and it, it kind of prevents it from wear and tear because the original Perceptor had a little trigger that you'd, you'd spin and his head would go up and down. Well, over time, my original Perceptor, which I still do own, it's just in storage in the Midwest with my other Transformers, gets loose. So that it just falls in a place on its own. The same with the fist. You know, like there's a little tab in the inside of the forearm where you push it up and down. Well, over time, that loosens up. And here, it sounds like it kind of clicks in a place like that. So it kind of prevents that issue from happening. So a lot of engineering changes, but I mean, with the leg placement, how the arms kind of go up, telescope goes up. And a nice improvement they made with the telescope too is, the original Perceptor had clips, and they were made out of plastic. Well, my Perceptor's cannon broke, you know, the front clip broke. Fortunately, the back clip remained on because it's a little bit of a thicker piece of plastic, because the front clip was a thinner piece of plastic. So I can still peg it into the back of Perceptor's neck, so the cannon could still be in place. But unfortunately, with telescope mode, it was very hard. And thank goodness that I was able to repair that with some kit bashing when the commemorative series came out. But this Perceptor, it looks like they got they, they did away with all those flaws from the original Generation 1 toy. The only thing I regret is they didn't do a lot of engineering. And right here, they actually did put like something that looks like a, a, like a holder for the mirror. The mirror does not come out of his stomach. Not like Generation 1 toy. But they did incorporate like that little clip that goes around the mirror to hold it down when you bring the mirror out. But when you do open the tray though, it does make it look like the mirror comes down, but it doesn't. It's just one, it's molded one piece of the chest. I'm going to close that off. And unfortunately, I don't have my Generation 1 Perceptor to do a side-by-side -side comparison, but I do have my Titans Return. And you can see a scale difference. And like I mentioned during the microscope segment, I mentioned that this is my definitive Perceptor up until this version of Perceptor came out. I mean, this is a great Perceptor and he's got the hulking cannon like the Generation 1 toy did. This one's more um, proportioned to the, the animated model from the cartoon series and the movie. Which I do like. I do think this looks a lot better than, than the big hulking cannon. Especially the Generation 1 toy had a huge, one, huge cannon that broke very easily. 
but unfortunately with this version of Perceptor, where it falls flat is, it's a headmaster. And my Perceptor head does not come off very easily, as you can see. And the cannon does come off from the, the Titans Return version. But he's a headmaster. And I'm not a big fan of Perceptor being a headmaster, because we all know that Perceptor was not a headmaster in Generation 1. So I'm going to put this off to the side. Now, if you guys are interested in owning your own copy of Perceptor, I did include a link in the description below. And by clicking that link, it will take you to the Amazon store where you can purchase your own copy of Perceptor. But if you choose not to pick up Perceptor, anything you buy within that time range after clicking that link will greatly help the channel out so that it can grow and provide more content for the future. If you really found any of the information in this review valuable, please like and share this video. Also, if you really enjoy my content, please subscribe to my channel. And while you're there, click the bell to be notified of any future videos. I want to thank you guys for watching and supporting Rad Steel's awesome toy collector review. I'll check you guys out next time.